Fab and Fun Club, please subscribe, like, and share. Nighttime Bunny, deep in the woods, in a snuggly burrow, Hungry Bunny was having his supper. It was nearly bedtime and he was slurping the last of his delicious carrot soup. Mommy, do all the animals in the woods go to bed when it gets dark? asked Bunny. No, said Mommy, some of them sleep during the day and wake up at night. Bunny thought being awake at night sounded very exciting. Please can I see the animals that come out at night? He asked. I want to be a nighttime bunny. Mommy's knitting needles clicked and clacked. Okay, she said, putting her knitting down. Let's go for a walk together to see the nighttime animals. Bunny couldn't wait to go on his nighttime adventure and he bounced out of the burrow. Outside, the sunset sky was orange and pink. It's so beautiful, said Bunny. Keep close, Mommy said, as she closed the front door. We need to stick together. Bunny hopped close to Mommy for a while, but then he spotted something strange. With a hoppity hop, he went over to investigate. There, lying among the flowers, was a strange ball of prickles. Bunny crouched down and sniffed the prickly thing. Suddenly, it uncurled. A face and four paws popped out and a little voice squeaked. Hello, I'm Hedgehog. The hedgehog began to roll around on the ground and Bunny joined in. This is fun, he giggled. Then Bunny rolled into Hedgehog and pricked his paw on the prickles. Ouch, that hurt, cried Bunny. Mommy rubbed Bunny's paw. Never mind, she said, leading Bunny along the woodland path. Soon, they came to a little pond where sleeping ducks tucked their beaks under their wings. The night was full of strange noises. There were hoots and flutters and screeches and barks. What are those noises? Asked Bunny nervously. Their night animals replied. Mommy, they're nothing to be afraid of. Suddenly, a great dark shape swooped past Bunny. It was big and feathery and made strange noises. Swoosh! Hoo hoo! Little Bunny dived into a patch of grass. Mommy, it's a monster! He cried. Don't worry, Bunny, said Mommy. It's just the night owl. He won't hurt you. Bunny wasn't listening to Mommy. He ran, hoppity hoppity, hop along the shadowy woodland path. Suddenly, something black and white and furry came out of a hole. Thump! Bunny bumped straight into it. Ouch! cried a very grumpy badger. Watch where you're going. Bunny rubbed his sore nose. His little ears drooped and he felt sad. The nighttime animals didn't seem friendly at all. Just then, little fluttery bats flew past. Bunny thought they looked very funny. They whizzed between his ears and around his fluffy white tail. Bunny giggled and chased them around and around. Where are you, mommy? called Bunny from the woods. Bunny felt so dizzy. He didn't know which way was up. He tried to hop, but he wibbled and wobbled until he fell. Thump, right on his bottom. Then, between the trees, there was a flash of orange. Something stepped out into the moonlight. It was a big, red, bushy-tailed fox. Well, if it isn't a little bunny, said the sly fox, grinning. What are you doing out all alone at this time of night? Suddenly, Mommy hopped out from the trees. He's being a nighttime bunny. She cried. The frightened fox leapt off into the woods and Mommy and Bunny were alone again. You mustn't run off like that again, Bunny, said Mommy. Can we go home now? Asked Bunny. Sleepily, I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Okay, said Mommy, giving him a hug. Let's go home then, she said. I'll tuck you in so you're snuggly and warm. In his cozy bunny bed, inside the snuggly bunny burrow, Bunny thought about everything he'd seen in the woods that night. He yawned a little and pulled his blanket up to his chin. I think I prefer being a daytime bunny, he said. Mommy smiled, kissed him on the forehead and turned off his bedside. Light, sweet dreams, my little bunny.